Hello everyone, we are going to solve problem 115 of chapter 17. A cord is wrapped around each of the two 10 kilogram discs. So we have the mass of the disc and the geometry gives us the radius. So we have the inertia. If they are released from rest, determine the angular acceleration of each disc and the tension in cord C. So we want alpha A, also alpha B, also the tension in cord C. Neglect the mass of the cord. So we have to draw free by diagrams because we want alpha A and alpha B. We have to draw two free by diagrams and two kinetic diagrams. Let's start with free by diagram of disk A. So free by diagram of disk A. We look at disk A. We have a tension here. Tension AD, this is not the tension that the question is asking for us. We have the weight, so our 10 kilogram, so multiply by 9.81 to get the weight. Also, we have a tension, you can call this point C, and also here A. And in addition to free by diagram, I need to draw kinetic diagram. Here, point A, because it's fixed by the, by the rope T A D, so there is no acceleration. The only component here would be I A alpha A, because point A is fixed here, so I don't have any linear acceleration. So looking at the problem, I can write the moment equation about point A, I get rid of this TAD, and uh, I find a relation between T and alpha. So summation of moment about point A equals IA alpha A. And that's the center of uh, gravity. Summation of, more, uh, force, uh, summation of moment about point A, the only force that is gonna create a moment would be this. T times moment arm, which would be the radius of this 90 millimeter or 0 0.09 meter. Uh, remember that I am assuming a clockwise because both of them are going to create a clockwise moment. I of a disk would be half M 10 R 0 0.09 squared alpha A. So I can see I have two unknowns and I can't um, solve it for these uh, unknowns. So I need to uh, go and write um, the free body, I draw the free body diagram for my second disc. I call this equation one. So free body diagram of disc B FBD, free body diagram of disk B. I have the tension. This is the same tension, the same rope is T. I have the weight acting, which will be 10, 9.81. And the radius is 0 0.09 or 90 millimeter. So for this, the kinetic diagram is a little bit different. I still have I alpha here is point B. Uh, so alphas are not the same. So I'm just going to name them I B and alpha B. But also the center has an acceleration as well. So M A B Y. Or you can call it a tangential acceleration. The point of contact is C. So I can write summation of moment about point C. Would be I B alpha because point C is the is not a fixed point and also it's not a center of gravity. So I need to include the moment of my kinetic as well. So plus M A B. 
y r and both of them are creating a counterclockwise moment summation of moment about point c the only force that is creating a moment would be the weight and is the mass 9.81 moment arm 0 0.09 ib half of m which is 10 r 0 0.09 squared alpha let's call it alpha b because alpha a and b are different moment arm is 10 a b i don't know the acceleration of a b and you need to be careful here acceleration of a b is not simply r or alpha b this acceleration is not equal to r alpha b because actually this point c is also moving so the acceleration of point b is not only due to rotation of disk b but also to linear motion of court c as well the court C is also unwrapping from disk A, so court C has an acceleration. This point is, will have an acceleration. So the acceleration of point B would be due to the rotation that we have, plus the linear acceleration of the point of contact. So we have to write a relative acceleration equation to solve uh, the problem here we see that we have two unknowns so i need to find the acceleration of point b the acceleration of b is ac plus ab with respect to c ac is simply r alpha a or point zero nine alpha a because at the point of contact the tension in the rope is not changing so whatever acceleration we have here, linear acceleration we have here, we're gonna have a linear acceleration here as well. The tangential component of acceleration for both are gonna be the same. And also I need to write A, B with respect to C. Remember acceleration always has two component, the normal component and the tangential component but the normal component, if omega is zero, the normal component would be zero as well. So here we only have the tangential component of acceleration here, or relative acceleration, which is 0 0.09 alpha b. So if I write a b, I will have 0 0.09 alpha a, 0 0.09 alpha b, so it would be alpha a plus alpha b. So instead of AB, in my equation, I can write alpha A and alpha B. So I have an equation based on alpha A and alpha B. Here I have a, 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 I have my second equation here. I need another equation here that would be equation one let's name this equation two this is the second equation that i have and i need my third equation so here i can write summation of forces give me the acceleration here so for free body diagram of B, I'm gonna write summation of forces in Y direction, and assuming that this is a positive Y. So I have this force in Y, I have the force uh, uh, tension, also I give, I have the acceleration here. So positive Y means the weight would be positive and the tension would be negative. So summation of forces in Y, M, A, B, Y. Therefore, the weight would be positive, 9.81, minus the tension that I don't have, times M, A, B, the acceleration of A, B, Y, which is based on alpha A and alpha B. So that I have three equations, all this equation three, 
the unknown in my equation are alpha A, alpha B, and T. So these are the exact unknowns that the question is asking for. Three equations and three unknowns. I can find my unknowns. 19.6 Newton. Alpha A is 43.7 radian per second squared. And alpha B is 43.7 radian per second squared. So we drew two body diagrams. One for this A, one for this B, uh, for this A, summation of moment about point A, is the center of gravity, so I have only one kinetic. Also, it's a fixed point, so there is no a linear acceleration. I had two unknowns, so I couldn't solve this problem by itself. And then, so I had to draw a free by diagram of disk B. For this B, you need to remember that the center is going to have and uh, a linear acceleration. It doesn't have any normal component because it's the center is uh, moving straight, is not rotating about uh, a curvature. So that would be my second equation. So I had AB. AB, like many other problems, that the disk is rotating about a fixed point is not simply R alpha. R alpha would be one component of acceleration because the point C is also have a linear motion. I had to write relative velocity equation, AB, AC plus AB uh, with respect to C. So once I have AB as function of alpha A and alpha B, then I can replace it into my equation. Then I have two equation and three unknown. I needed another equation. Summation of forces in Y would give me the acceleration of center of gravity of this B. And I had three unknowns. I could find my uh, three unknowns using three equations. 